What do you guys think of this color? Um, nice nude. I am a huge fan of yellow. Oh, no. <laughs> you have to your bag. I know that you're like a huge fan of yellow. I don't know. Like nude or something. Be adventurous. Hello, <laughs> 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 uh, hi. I would like Lokot. I'll, I'll line up Bring the on my beard. She actually cut this one. This one. Yeah, she yeah, actually does. Really? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does cut hair. All right, guys. Where's the unbutton? Okay, I see it. See, she said, "Where is the unbutton?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like the one time. Yeah, yeah, it's different from the one I usually okay. use. Hold so. on. All right. Difference. Um, okay, it's all right. Yeah, that's correct. It's okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna just show a couple of clips from stuff that people have talked okay. about when we've been I in need here. To, like, so I can see where. Try. I, I'm just gonna be so real with you guys. Okay. You know. If you want to yeah. laugh, you can laugh. So you yeah. want Natural to tell you what we think of what they're saying? Yeah. Okay. Most guys never marry their stick. Have you realized that? Mm. Mm. Word <laughs> point. <laughs> or I. <laughs> <laughs> because me, I was, my first instant reaction was, you know, marry my stick. <laughs> But what do you guys think of that? I definitely feel like the kind of people that I'm attracted to, they tend to be missing very specific yes. characteristics that I need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm also about physical. I'm talking about like the kind of personalities yeah. they have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree with her. Uh, the kind of guys I keep attracting, uh, they're not just good for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you're watching it, that's well, your business. Yeah. But I'm just saying, well, that's well, their business. Do you choice. understand? I so understand really, now. really, and truly, I've, I've actually come to realize that probably just not within my power anymore. Mm. Because I just don't get it. I don't think that I can relate because I don't know that I have a spec. <laughs> I've dated all kinds of people. Short, slim, tall, fat. What about personality though? Personality maybe, yes. Yeah. That's a, that's yeah. a spec. <laughs> but in terms of yeah. physical... I think, well, well, yeah, I do think we're looking physical because the thing is, what we're talking about is that you can't find the personality. Sometimes you might not find the personality traits that you need mm -hmm. within the physical. The physical. Okay, so you, you were something physical. I feel like physical. most guys are very pretentious. They'll say, oh, you're coming acting like you're a saint. Oh, I want a girl to be saint. Are you a saint? You that are coming to say, I want her to be a saint. You want her to be perfect. Are you mm. perfect? <laughs> I'm very close to many guys. Mm. And the ones that are married are not married to their specs. And this is because I know their specs. And they're like, ah, who's peg hip? <laughs> At the end of the day, like, you know, because they found something. <laughs> That was priceless mm. and something that money sure. couldn't buy. So let's 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 see what 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 thing people said next. Yeah, some people distance is an issue. You know? mm. ah. So distance just kills the love. And I say, where do you live? You say first time. <laughs> <laughs> If you really like the person, trust me, first stack is small. You go to Kukumai. First stack. Koto Luse. Cut you. Like <laughs> saying. Calm down. But, but guys, I think also that sometimes we. For the relationship to be sweet, I think some basic elements and easy, easy, easy. Mm. easy like. Let me tell no, so it takes away the spontaneity of just being and bonding. Mm -hmm. Someone like me, bonding is important. Very. It's almost as if they sound like we're looking for very convenient. Mm. Yeah. Well. Okay, so I understand like we're using Festa, you know, and also you know Alibaba was maybe he was being he was joking, but at the same time it's true. There are some people who are like. You know, if this person doesn't live in my vicinity, it's hard to mistake. Because they are realities. What well, if they don't have a car? Well, okay, what if this person has a car? But it's a, every what I'm, I'm learning about relationships is that you, people's lives are seasonal. To be honest, yeah. let me speak for myself. This, please, this shouldn't push anybody, but I like my space. So, in a weird way, I really don't mind the distance. I live on the mainland, and to be honest, I, you can live on the island for like a. Let's just know that it's not every time that self control that we would, oh God, I can't just see her now. You behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> in my absence. You behave yourself in my absence. I realized that, oh wow, this is actually to do with the employees and stuff that I was feeling. I thought I was doing with that. Are you dealing with it? Yeah. Working on it. Okay, so like there. M this subject was about male insecurity okay. and how like you can ha we have like stigmas and things that you can say that women can say that all men do this like all men cheat or mm. you know you a bad school. demon and all yeah. of that kind of <laughs> stuff right mm -hmm. and there are underlying issues that sometimes men do themselves do not realize like for me I realize that I have I dealt with stuff of inferiority complex so therefore I worry about not feeling worthy mm -hmm. so now in that thing that can make me misbehave and do things like mm. cheat because you're trying to please everybody mm. and it's bad mm. but how do we deal with 
those especially. underlying issues, especially when you have dealt with them for so long that you don't even notice them anymore. So you won't let that be an excuse for your cheating. Uh, I, I mean, I think that, I think it's also worse in this part of the world where there's mm. pressure on the African man to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. okay. And then there's a stereotype. So I don't even know that it's okay for a guy to say, oh, I'm, I have self-esteem issues mm -hmm. because he's not man enough. enough yeah. And then if he says it to a woman, he's like, oh, how is she, is she going to trust me? Mm. You know, boys don't cry and all the other things mm. that, you know, we've been raised to think are normal. Now, meanwhile, women, at least even if it's a gossip. <laughs> it's yeah. we, we just connect more emotionally. I think yeah. we're just good about being honest about our emotions. And I think I think the key word is vulnerability, right? Yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of guys saying you have an inferiority complex, that's a hard thing to, to say, say as for a guy. But there's another way you, you know, can say it. Yeah, you can say it, but even the concept of being like, just let's think of it this perspective. Wait. That's why so many men struggle with spirituality because spirituality is such an emotional experience. Yeah, you have to be vulnerable so with God. You have to be vulnerable with God. You have to and say, well, I need you. I do. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. in that same context, it just flows in everything. But I feel like if you're with the right person, like because I'm very emotional, and I, like you said, I respect guys who are able to express themselves. So if you're with someone who can come to you and like one-on-one, -on -one, you guys are alone, I'm like, see, I'm not sure, but this is how I feel. I'm not really sure how to place it. I don't know what word to use. And you as a woman, because of how we are, you can say, okay, maybe you're slightly insecure mm. yeah. and we can work on it I feel communication mm. is such a huge mm. factor a so then you know him and you understand and you don't you don't magnify that insecurity yes and you don't use it against yeah. him. you don't use it against him and you don't make him feel, feel weak, weak. Like instead you make him feel like he's a yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah all right guys I will say I can't was this. Flips my hair. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, then. I feel like I will rephrase his sentence. Huh. And I Please. wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it is natural, natural. to cheat. I'll say it is natural to desire more. Mm. Yeah. Yes. It is natural to, to want more than what you already have. Mm. Or like your eyes looking somewhere is natural. Because when you now um, succumb to that nature, or that desire is mm. when you cheat, mm -hmm. which you should have the power to, to control. To, to, to control. control. Yeah. <laughs> it also depends on right society. I think that you know in Nigeria, men have not yet been disciplined and also been punished for cheating. Yep. Yeah. Yes. In yes. the Western societies, you men like yes. punished half of your money. Is that what you yeah. mean? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Not even that. Your parents tell you just yeah. money. The honest truth is that if you knew that you would lose. X, Y, and Z, if you knew that you, society would look at you with shame, mm -hmm. you would kind you'll of behave yourself. Yes. Yes. Why do you think God set the, uh, the attractions differently? Why? So God didn't expect, per se, per se, let's just say we were talking about the have now. Mm -hmm. Now God didn't expect, per se, that woman should make a judgment on how he looks, because a lot of us don't look as good. You get mm -hmm. And God expected that we should make our own decisions by the way they look. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of them really look good. Mm -hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, he, he went straight to the point, to mm -hmm. be honest. Yeah. Like, men but, are good by things they see. Definitely. But yeah. I, I, I like it, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like I'm not really sure if I'm 100% there because I think it's also, I mean, he's definitely, you know, doing a generalization. Mm -hmm. But I think that. I think it's also society. I think it's also, you know, the way we've been raised is that women have been projected and seen as, we're very physical. Mm. Like, so the way society projects us is, you know, a woman is based, you think of a woman based on how she looks. Yeah. You know, is she pretty? Does she have this kind of body? Does she have that? And it's just a narrative that has been rep repeated over and over okay. through what we see in media. Mm. I think if the narrative was different, I think it would not be as important. And I think the narrative is that men should be smart, they should be wealthy, mm. you know, they mm -hmm. should be hardworking, women should be feminine, they should have right, curves. Mm -hmm. you know, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it's a narrative. I, I mean, it's half and half because if I'm going to even like go with you, because as we were talking, I was thinking of scripture. And a lot of times when marriages are going to happen, the man saw the woman yes. and then were told about how she, she looked. looked. Mm. Yes. Jacob worked how hard for the more beautiful one and then yeah. he was ready to work even harder Siesta. for the more beautiful one. And there's all of that. And then you'll talk about the man and how he was tilling the farm, mm. how he was watching the flock mm. and all of that. Yeah. Which I, I think that's, that's natural. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, yeah. And you know, the woman was, the woman was, God just formed man. I think woman was molded. She was carved. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Preach.
<laughs> Look at guys, and this somebody taught me this illustration. Uh, me gave me this illustration years ago. That a bottle of coke is covered with a Coca Cola, mm. covered the crown, the bottle, mm -hmm. and it, it's sealed mm -hmm. at the factory. Yeah. But one, it's not only one that can fit one. No. There are many, many that can fit the same coke. It's just yeah. it's how they match. It's how they sit. It's how mm. they click. Mm. Mm. I completely agree. I agree. I agree. Right, so guys. true though. So uh, so, uh, so quick. Uh, uh, so agreed. <laughs> Expand on his yes, on, on like his yeah, thing. Yeah, so he was talking about how uh, someone had a specific lifestyle, go out every Thursday, Friday, all that kind of thing. And then when she got married, his wife was like, "Now nah, you can't be going out anymore." So he stops and he makes that sacrifice and stops going out. But if his wife is like, "No, that's just where it should be," she doesn't notice the sacrifice. Exactly. So how do you re how do you reciprocate or how does that sacrifice help your relationship if the person doesn't even appreciate that sacrifice? Yeah, well, but you know my issue yeah. with that thing, yeah. especially in the context is I always say what someone used to do before yes, you yes, got married you is what they will continue to, to do. do right. they are. Mm. Yes. And I think it's really bad when, especially because this is a conversation they always have that, you know, before you used to get, before you were married, he used to go out, he used to do this. Yeah. What makes you think that now that you have a ring on your finger, he's going to change gonna, yeah. 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 habits that he had? Like, yeah. So I think it's always bad when women are like, oh no, he still goes out, my girl. You met him. He was yeah. going out yeah. when you exactly. met him. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't even like it when women now make it like this is the way it should be. Now you are a married man. Now. Yeah. Because no. It just puts pressure on the guy. So for example, I I, I sleep with the lights on no, and I TV can't. on. No, I, I know. Can't. I suspect what? it will be a problem. I can't. So for me, in my head, that's going to be a sacrifice. But you would yeah. do it. You know you would do it. No, you would do it, and you, you get it because we are women. Point. Back to one back in secondary school. Back there and all the back there. Before med school, we, we knew we could see people's class level, clothes, shoes. We knew who had money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we saw the response of girls. So we were you see girls are in there. Are you kissing girls? Are you kissing girls? You see, you buy people with money. Yeah, mm. that is true. Yeah, sadly, so true. true. Yeah. I think every society has, a, a, you know, its issues, and Nigeria is just a classless society. We don't deal with racism, we just deal with classism. Class. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 issue. Because yeah. I think this money thing, because we're looking specifically at money relationships and, as well, like how does money, if someone, to enlighten the conversation, if somebody says, you know, if you start off by buying the babe expensive dinner every single time, doing the most, when that money runs out, how do you expect how that? You that, mm. you know, that's not going to affect the relationship because that's what you used to attract her. Mm. Like Bonali said, we're in a society that's driven by class. We're in a society where those things define us. So mm -hmm. how do we begin to change that narrative? How do you not look at a guy and be like, okay, because he has this or because he drives this car, mm. this is how he will be. See, even security men. Yes, no. Have you seen they how... They, what they, they want, the kind of base on the car, yeah. 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 I've been to the I same building you. when I was driving my former <laughs> car. They never opened the door. For me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> New car landed. Oh, you know the funny thing. It has been kind of real. Mic drop. Like <laughs> kind of. Not very real. <laughs> Extremely real. As in, I've, I've collected hey, some like female really wisdom. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I wish we heard one. No, 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 that was my job was to be quiet. So you can't have four women here and tell that you'll be talking. <laughs> Yeah, really yeah, good. I want to look in the mirror because I can't even lie. Oh, yeah, look, there has been look, fear look. in my I head. I think that's why he was silent. Like, I can't even lie. I couldn't even really look or listen. Oh, yeah, I was just feeling the clipper. Oh, okay. Sweet right, song. Sweet right, boy. Right, sweet boy. Right, 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 right. Right. You know this is helpful. I have audition or something. Let <laughs> the camera pick me shining. 